Okay, so there's my sugar in my pan. And I'll wait till it barely, just barely starts to caramelize. Because if you let it fully caramelize, then what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up with hard chunks. And you don't want hard chunks in your berry sauce. So if you look at the outer edge, you'll see it starts to liquefy. And when that liquefaction is all the way around the outer edge of your pan, and starting to turn a little bit golden brown. Oh, there we go. That's a nice spot. See it liquefying right there? Okay, you can tell that the, oh, I'm going to have to grab my pan grabber that that was. Okay, so it already started to caramelize over there in the corner. I'm pull up I wanted. So what I'm going to do now is put down the camera and add the berries real quick. Oh, there's the berries I'm adding. There's the blueberries and the raspberries to start with. Because they're more liquefiable and will mix in quicker. I'm actually holding this above the fire because my fire is getting a little too hot and I really want more of a cool fire. So we're just kind of shaking this up here in the air and letting it start to bring in that sugar. Woo! That fire is getting way hotter than I want it to be. I mean, it's as good as a roaring fire over there in the pit. put this camera down and deal with this real quick. Now my butter is going to give it that nice cream that I'm looking for while I slice in these strawberries that I have down here in the bottom. Alright. We're going to let this fire stay calm for now and then just put one more little piece of wood in it just to keep it going. But it was almost too hot for the longest time. But I had to let it almost die off. I get to mixing these strawberries in. I'll show you some pictures when I get in that far along. Okay, there we go. There's the berries and strawberries all mixed together. The butter's melted in. And the reason you put the butter in is because what it helps the sugar from not re-hardifying back up. I'm turning it into almost like I don't drink alcohol, but I have in the past. And if you've ever had that butter rum, mm, so good. And so is this. This is a, a natural buttery, fruity, sweet sauce that will be able to go over just about anything that I cook today. I'm certainly going to go, maybe I'll throw it in with some oatmeal this morning. Maybe I'll just eat some of it just plain as it is for breakfast and snack on it all day. So we're going to sit here and mix this up and turn it into a really nice creamy cream sauce. As we cook it down and let the berries just kind of thin, soften up and become a mush. I'm going to pull this off of here in the next few seconds and get the fire back warmed up a little bit hotter again because it's cooled off enough. And then we'll give you a, a shout at the final product at the end. Alright. Okay, there's my sauce. Looking really good and red and beautiful. I'm going to pour it down in my measuring cup here. And, uh, take this and pour it into there. Let's see how good that works, huh? Ooh, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. There we go. Okay. Now, try to get the camera on this while I do this. And of course, there's more than my measuring cup, isn't there? Yep. All right, well, that looks like what I'm going to have to use immediately. So I'll try to throw some water and cook my oatmeal in it. All right. Here's my oatmeal, that you can see, hopefully. It's so bright out here, I can't see. And here's my cup of berry sauce that I already has its butter and sugar mixed in so I don't have to do nothing and that's my breakfast all right talk to you all later